Yes, and that's as far as you can go. That's it. really like the history of bauxite and aluminium so I'll get out of the car and I'll just have a little look so here we go it's a bit of the history of the place Yeah, it's all about the community, planting stuff, and here we are. This is the bauxite plant. It's from bauxite that we get uranium, and it's from uranium that we can get nuclear, um, nuclear fuel when it's refined to make, among other things, uh, nuclear medicine. Unfortunately it also makes not only nuclear power but it also makes nuclear weapons. Um, here is the, the key to the bauxite plant. 
as you can see. I'll just briefly give you a rundown on it. We can look at it later. Because they're going to close this lookout. It's time to close it in the evening, 5 o'clock. And we've come a bit too late, but we didn't know that this is what it was. This is owned by Rio Tinto. Uh, they say they're here for the for the community, so they tell us it is a big employer in Queensland with a lot of people, which is good because we need employment. And here, when you look back over here, that's back towards. Gladstone itself, city, behind it, the mountains are Curtis Island. Um, and here we have a bit of a history here of uh, bauxite aluminium in Australia, which you'll have to blow this up much bigger if you want to read it from this nice place to come here the history of Cal Cal Meatworks there's the plant itself as you can see in the plans and here we've got Bayer Processing, Carl Joseph Bayer discovered the economic way to separate pure aluminium from bauxite ore. It's called the Bayer Process. It remains relatively unchanged and is still considered to be the most efficient way to produce alumina. Around the same time, Charles Hall of the United States and Paul Hillard of France both discovered a way to produce aluminium in an economic way. This breakthrough came known as the Hal Hillard process and is still used through smaller smelters worldwide. So there we go. That's it bit of news and once again here's the bauxite plant oh, bauxite plant down here and that's it it's red of course because um, not just of rust features because it's right beside the ocean but also because of the actual bauxite itself um, there is a little bit of risk in this that breathing in the fumes over the years could cause uh, a problem with lung cancer. Of course they would deny that, but that's the reality I'm afraid, but it's like everything else. So many industries that we work in that it's only in these recent years that we discovered how dangerous it is when you're processing uh, minerals chemicals so there we go that's it now I better get out of here before they close this park off and we get locked in so that's another bit of Gladstone we've discovered which is good yeah Did you want to have more minutes? oh no no we're right now sorry we, 